नागालैंड लगा चीफ मिनिस्टर प्रास एक्चुअली डे पीजेपी के खुशी जुनाई दी थी ताकि रीजन्स कंधे छोटू पार्टीज का लोगों ने मिली गिना काम किया नहीं मिले ताकि खुशी के सेंटर प्राम मामला बिशी डे नागालैंड के बचाए गिना रखी है से सीएम प्राय एनपीओ कंधे अरबी इलेक्शन डे पार्ट लोबी को गिना ताकि and the high command we will cherish your visit and your coming will make a difference of our election campaign sir our adversaries and our main opponent congress in nagaland and rpp they are criticizing the party, particularly the BGP and also NDPP. And particularly about neglecting or suppressing the minorities. Yes. We are all concerned, but I'm sure the High Command and the BGP party and PD, NDA government will address all issues. While the adversaries are commenting in this, I see the large-hearted leadership in our Honorable Prime Minister and the Union National BGP President and the NDA government that the BJP party is having alliance with minor parties, small parties in 18 states in the country. And I came to learn from the headquarter that 57 political parties are having alliance with BGB. That shows that they have concern for the minorities, though the parties don't have MLAs or even MPs. The partnership giving, extending hand to the minority and minor parties is well appreciated and that exhibit the secularism and inclusive approach to the political, the biggest democratic country in the world, particularly in the Northeast. BJP party is extending support like Nagaland. BJP is supporting the NDPB candidate, a regional party and respecting the regional and the Naga identity is highly appreciated. Likewise, you have also supported NPF candidate in Outer Manipur. Though NPF is a small party in Manipur, you decided that BJP should support NPF. That sends a huge message and as NPF is supporting the government, taking part in the government, as requested, I'm going to campaign in Manipur Outer District on 28th after polling in Outer Manipur for NPF candidate. Likewise, your support to NPP and AGP in the other states in the northeastern states. That shows that BJP has a large heart and having alliance with small parties and minorities also. So if there is any thing suppressing of minorities and other things, the BJP and the leadership, Honorable Prime Minister, with the allies, 
will surely be addressed. This is our hope and I request. As regards to the national government, we want to extend for the exemption of CA Act in the state of Nagaland. And that is the special privilege you had given to us. Earlier also, in many issues, Nagaland State under 371A of the Indian Constitution, we have been protected, privileged, and exempted. And that continues. And that's how we're extremely happy. I had the privilege of serving under our beloved Prime Minister, Atar Atal Bihari Vaspai Ji, 2003. When I became Chief Minister, he visited Nagaland State and in the local ground, he addressed the public and he declared, recognizing the uniqueness of Naga history. We still respect him, we miss him, and we love him. Likewise, today, we are privileged to work under Narendra Modi ji, the Honorable Prime Minister, who is a visionary leader, who is, is large-hearted and the centric of developmental activities, vision and innovations that inspired the whole country and that's how our economic growth from 2.5 to 4.69 trillion uh, economy. And as mentioned, by 2047, the dream of our no, Prime Minister, with all of us, the growth of the country to become a developed country. On Naga political issue, Earlier governments, they could not do much, but under PDA, Vaspai Ji, and under Prime Minister Narendra Modi Ji, had taken the Naga issue to another level in signing the framework agreement on 3rd August 2015, and the agreed position with NMPG group on 17 November 2017. Why there is oppositionless government? Why all the 60 members are together? Why all the eight, nine political parties, including the independents, are together in an oppositionless government? Because the voice of the people the desire of the Naga people wants solution to the Naga political issue. And that's where we are united. And with signing the framework agreement and the agreed position, it will be possible only under NDA government led by BJP party, Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. And that's how after the election, our political affairs committee will pursue with the civil societies, with the Naga Nationals group, so that we can bring to a logical conclusion. Sir, in these 27 years of negotiations, a lot has been achieved, that, but the final step to conclude is yet to be. And we believe that our consensus PDA candidate, Dr. Chumben, the Lord member who will be able to speak out the voice in the parliament about the Naga issue and resolving an early solution. He is well educated. He's a medical doctor. His wife also medical doctor. 
and his fine record in politics and in public. He was in my cabinet and then I have seen him work with full dedications. And therefore, today, PDA consensus candidate Dr. Chumben is the choice of the Alliance Party. And all the 60 members and all the political parties together were supporting our PDA candidate, Dr. Chumben, and the public are solidly behind him. We don't want to talk about other candidates. We don't want to uh, bring issues, but we know what Congress had done for Nagaland. In UPA 1 and UPA 2, the Congress rule in Delhi, the Honorable Prime Minister, in 10 years of his tenure, he has not visited Nagaland State once also. And just now, the Buddhist Mr. Patton said, Honorable Prime Minister had visited Northeast 72 times and then to Nagaland repeatedly. Even in the busiest period, he, I remember he hauled up in the airport and meet the various leaders and political parties. We really feel his concern and the people are solidly behind our candidate. We want to thank the BGP party for your alliance with NDPP and then upholding the aspiration of the regional party and the people. We look forward that in the days to come also, we'll work together and we support you. And that look is policy, to act is policy will be a reality during our time in the next term. Sir, we have uh, some concern. The ENPO uh, had announced their abstention in the Lok Sabha election. We, in your presence, I, as Chief Minister, once again appeal to them not to abstain, but to participate. And when the popular government is installed in Delhi, the issue of ENPOs should be addressed. There should be uh, finding a, 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 a decision to resolve the issue so that there is peace in Nagaland and development activities so that Nagaland also will go contribute and grow in the growth of the nation.